Chernobyl Youth Project. Dembish's 18 months Chernobyl Youth Project worked to raise awareness for the Chernobyl nuclear disaster on its anniversary and to support the young people who are still affected by the disaster 30 years on through the charity Chernobyl Children's Lifeline. 36 young people from Dembisha split themselves into three groups to lead on three main areas of the project. One, raising money to bring young people from Belarus to visit Prestatin. Two, making a documentary film. And three, the marketing and management of community events to raise awareness of the disaster and the work that the charity does. The heart of this project was young people helping other young people. Kuromatsunai Hokkaido, Japan. Eight St John Wales young volunteers embarked on a journey to Kuromatsunai village in Hokkaido, Japan. The area is rural and agricultural and has suffered as a result of earthquakes, tsunamis and landslides. The volunteers wanted to bridge the gap in access to emergency medical assistance by teaching first aid skills that could save the lives of villagers. During the two-week trip, the volunteers ran global citizenship workshops, icebreakers and activities to children and young people aged 5 to 15 at a local school. They also delivered open access first aid sessions to over 50 villagers of all ages, teaching them how to give life-saving emergency care and how to recognise conditions like strokes and heart attacks. Prosiect ymchwil i'r rhai a gollwyd yn y Rhyfel Byd Cyntaf o Ardal Penasarn. In 2014, Penasarn Youth Club in Anglesey embarked on a project to commemorate the 17 young men from the area who lost their lives in the First World War. Their names are on a memorial stone in the village. The project has run until this year. The young people involved research the history of fallen men in newspapers, archives, war records and by speaking to their families. Some also went on to visit a Senedd, Westminster, and some of the graves of the fallen at Ypres, where they laid a wreath. The young people went on to display their findings to 60 people at an exhibition in Penasar Memorial Hall in April this year. The young people involved now have a greater understanding of what the young men faced when going to war, and of the loss that their families felt when they didn't return. <laughs>